the Visionary Minds here in New York City at the Urban Action Showcase Expo. We're here with Daniel and Antonius. Please tell us, why are you here today? No, why are we here today? Yeah. I'm here to showcase to the world my vision and my love for women. Mm. I want to empower women. I want to give them the strength. I want to give them the ability to share their voice. When there's something bad or when something good, they need to have their voice heard at all times. Wow. How about you? How about you here today? Well, my name is Antonio Strugas, and I actually work with my producer, and I'm very gifted and blessed because it's been a long time since we've actually tried to get this thing to work, and I fell in love with his dream and his passion for changing the world in many different aspects, and I play as the actor Hybris, so I'm half human and half alien, so I really kicked some butt in this movie. Yes! Wow, I, I love this picture here. Thank you very much. What got you both into the entertainment industry? Well, I think we both love the camera. We can say that. Oh, yeah. Nice. I mean, I've been doing this since uh, I was a... Uh, uh, oh, no, I was 17. I did my first movie at 17. Nice. Um, it was a stop motion animation. My... My men he became my mentor later before he died was Ray Harryhausen. He's the guy that did the Seven Boys of Sinbad and and you know all those movies with the di with the the skeletons fighting the the pirates. Yeah, so he was my uh, my inspiration to get started, and then it just grew into other things. Wow. What advice would you have for anyone who may be scared to be an actor, a writer, a producer, any aspect of the entertainment industry? What advice would you have for them to go ahead and do it? Do you want me to take that? Yeah, go ahead, because I have mine too long. Go I ahead. say, if you have a dream and you feel that you can do it, and no matter how many people tell you you can't do something, I say you still do it. Absolutely. And I say you don't quit. Because the more that you get beaten down, like Sylvester Stallone says in Rocky, the more you get beaten down, you're going to get up, you're going to get up, you're going to get up, and you're finally going to make it where you need to make it. And it's going to get frustrating, and it's going to get hard, and there's going to be haters, but the haters are your motivators. Amen. Remember that. Remember yes, that. Me. How about you? Me? Well, my motivational speech stems from my father when he told me that women are a gift from God. Amen. And he used okay. to get on me all the time when I talk back to my mom. He was like, nah, your mom was my gift. Wow. And any woman that is in your life is a gift because they became your gift and they can give you a gift so you should respect them and treat them well and my advice is never ever ever give up or let anybody who's in your life change you from doing what you need to do wow because i had an opportunity when i thought that no one would ever want to hire me as a you know young black boy growing up in queens you know because you know they hear all the stuff and one guy gave me that shot one guy and now I'm a two-time telly award producer director I have you know I'm starting a company where I'm gonna hire other students graduates so they can come in and work in the field so they don't have to come out and be no jobs yep. I run a magazine that I ran from inside my hospital bed where I almost died and while I was healing I started the magazine which now has 20 million subscribers wow because, congratulations oh thank you and all because i gave back to the community i showcased the community and what the community did and it just kept growing and growing so now i want to give women a voice so i want to give them the voice to speak up to not be afraid because you all are queens of this planet and us men we got to stand up and recognize yeah. so so never ever allow anybody to sway you from your dream you achieve your dream i got knocked down a million times but it's that million and one yep. that's the one that set me going so never ever give up 
you know, what both of you are saying is so inspirational, yes. especially having a public access talk show in small Syracuse, New York. We are here to uplift our community. We showcase artists and business owners and community leaders as an inspiration outlet to show what the positivity things are going on. Yep. And just the words that you're saying just uplift me, and I know we'll uplift everyone else. And just thank you so much. Well, not a problem.